Good evening, America. Welcome to the Eclectic Engineer podcast with your host, Jonathan Tuan Tran, the Eclectic Engineer. And uh, today we're not going to make this podcast about myself. We're going to have a very special guest on the show, a very unexpected guest, the highly esteemed, highly talented, highly capable Mr. Truman from Galactostar Industries. And uh, I wanted to say a few words. I wanted to thank him for his time. I wanted to say uh, thank you for your time, your energy, your service uh, in that area of uh, that field of work. Uh, I know that there are other things that you could be doing, very important things that you could be doing, yet you are taking the time out of your busy schedule to be with me, uh, Jonathan Tuandran. And uh, here we are. We're going to be um, conducting an inter- interview, actually. Um, but before that, let's let's talk about uh, some of the events that happened this week. Uh, earlier this week uh, was uh, several things. Uh, I mean, things at work, work, work are picking up. And uh, I have planned to go to Southeast Asia, either Singapore or Hanoi or Singapore or and or Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, uh, within the next few weeks. And uh, that all that is all contingent on whether things go smoothly in the uh, uh, the rest of the political world. And uh, I'm I'm so excited to be venturing over there because uh, there are so many good things happening right now. Um, you know, there's a, a change in leadership. There is a uh, excitement in the air about industry, about uh, commerce, about economics. And uh, I couldn't be more excited to uh, bring, bring the subject of uh, my own um, understanding to, to the forefront of that economy and that ecosystem. So that is that news. Uh, other news, uh, uh, well, uh, I will be also uh, conducting uh, some um, passport. I will be renewing my passport. <laughs> That's not news. What am I talking about? Anyway, uh, I have some some questions here, actually. I have some questions here. So, uh, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Truman. Thank you for being on the show. Good evening, Mr. Truman. Be- thank you for being on the show. Um, I'd like to thank you for um, being on this podcast with me. And uh, once again, thank you for your time. Thank you for um, being here with us. Uh, and, uh, you know, without further ado, let me record some of this on my iPhone. Without further ado, we're going to conduct some very important questions that uh, uh, the, uh, either the audience or I myself, or myself, excuse me, um, will be uh, interested in learning more about from Mr. Truman. So here we go. You're a controversial character, uh, Mr. Truman. Would you say that much is true? Uh, for those that have not been already persuaded or convinced by your outstanding work, um, uh, sans the uh, political faux pas that have happened in the past, uh, name three things about yourself that is a strength and one thing about yourself that is room for improvement. If you weren't in politics, Mr. Truman, what field of work would you be pursuing right now? Would you retire after your role as CEO and president of your firm or keep working? Question number three. Mr. Truman, your political rivals, the Cliffs, have known to be friends of yours at one time in the past with proof of a photo together with all smiles until politics became at the forefront of 
your conversations. They have since then become your political rivals, perhaps even mortal enemies. Quote, unquote. God forbid you are on your deathbed, or vice versa, and you have one departing message for them. What would you say to them? Question number four. You are hosting a banquet for fundraising in the political arena to help fundraise your next political run or uh, uh, your business endeavors. Uh, you get to invite the top five to ten CEOs and presidents of any company or, or even the politicians of other countries. Who is on your guest list? Who sits at your table? And why? Mr. Truman, as a man of your knowledge in your role, you have an opportunity to either, that's question number five, cut the U.S. deficit by 10% and retain your wealth, B, that was A, B, cut the U.S. deficit by 50%, but you lose all of your accumulated wealth, C, erase and wipe the U.S. deficit clean, yet make everyone in the U.S. start at $0, D, leave as is for the future generations to figure out how to handle. Which approach do you take? Six, you have the ability to go through a wormhole in space to travel back in time only once for, your, for a very important mission. What do you choose to do? Who do you meet? What important information do you deliver? And who do you stop in his or her tracks? Question number six. Given the way that your opposition has treated you up until this point, if given the opportunity to change any event in the sequence of events, would you prefer it to have gone any other way? Question number seven. Name your top three favorite movies. Question number eight. Name your top three favorite musical artists. Question number nine. Will you be rebooting your reality TV series after your next political run? Such as... MTV, The Real World, VH1's Cribs, or Behind the Music, I think it's MTV, Cribs. Uh, number 10, Kendrick or Drake? 